Now, uh, ah, I mentioned kanina, yung sale of uh, uh, palay, which was not yet in existence, ang tawag doon sa Latin ay res, uh, uh, re, emsure esperati. Okay? Sale of uh, unexpected thing. Emsure esperati. Whereas, yung sale of hope is known as emsho spay. Okay? Emsho spay. Paminsan-minsan, may mga ganong uh, pang-shock ang mga examiners, di ba? Eh, minsan, one point lang naman, eh, huwag kayong ma-shock, okay? Pabayaan nyo na lang, okay? Uh, pero still, try to give an answer. Malay natin, makachamba, okay? Uh, I have always encouraged everyone uh, not to leave a question unanswered. Maski one point problem, give an answer, Okay? Because uh, in real life, some examinees would not become lawyers kasi ang kanilang average ay 74.999, di ba? With that, isang point na lang, abogado ka na sana. Kung, kung sinagutan mo lang isang one-point problem, abogado na. That happened during the time of Justice uh, Sandoval Gutierrez, okay? Sabi niya, uh, kwinento niya sa amin, that was three years ago, uh, there were about 33 examinees na ang average 74.999. She uh, uh, asked daw the court to consider itong 33 na ito, but the majority of the justices said no. So, hindi naging abogado at least on that year, yung, tat, yung 33 na ito. But... Alam nyo naman what happened last year, maski hindi 74.99, maski nga lang 71 lang, abogado na sila, di ba? Weather-weather lang yan, okay? Kung kailan ka kumuha ng exam, pag-trip ng Supreme Court na ibaba ang passing rate, pero pag hindi nila trip, ay nako, 74.99 would not suffice. So answer all questions. At saka, a common uh, Uh, reason a student would say why he did not answer the question kasi hindi niya alam ang sagot o kaya sa tingin niya mali ang alam niyang sagot ang isasagot sana niya mali which is the worst uh, reason because malay mo ang akala mo mali ang sagot mo baka ikaw ang mali ang sagot mo tama o di ba since hindi mo rin naman alam kung alin talaga ang tama isulat mo na rin uh, hindi ka naman sigurado di ba uh, just give an answer basta medyo may logic ang sagot why not di ba it has something to do with the question you might uh, be given an answer a, a, a point uh, ito maski ito uh Totoong examiner, I, I talked to uh, a few about two weeks ago, uh, examiner last year. Di ba merong mga, for every subject, 10 points na 1 point each, true or false, part 1, 5, part 2, 5, okay? 1 point each lang. E di, ang sabi, true or false. So, ang sasagot mo, true or false, tapos you are required to explain in not more than two sentences. Ang dilemma niya was this. What if ang sagot true, pero mali ang explanation? O kaya ang sagot uh, false, ang sinagot true, pero mukhang tama ang explanation? ba? Diba? Anong ilalagay kong point? Ayaw naman niya magbigay ng one half, one half. E di pang gulo lang yun, di ba? Kaya ang ginagawa niya, siguro uh, I would agree with him, mukhang mas mabait siya kaysa doon sa partner niya in that subject. Maski maski ang sagot niya true, ang tamang sagot true, ang explanation mali or false. Tama siya, false. Pero ang explanation mali, chinecheck na rin niya as one point. Or, baliktad, uh, false ang sagot, aba nilagay true. Pero ang explanation mukhang tama, one point na rin. Di ba? Ordinarily, ako hindi ko gagawin yon, Di ba? <laughs> Kasi kung false ang sagot, Mali ang explanation mo, tsamba lang yung false na yan, di ba? Uh, you don't really, really know the answer. Uh, pero siguro, kaya nga nandun yung kailangan, just explain, di ba? Maski mali ang uh, conclusion mo, baka sakaling tumama ang explanation, eh di may one point ka na, di ba? Sayang yung one point, okay? Now, uh, one other, one uh, 
uh, rule, okay? In a sale of a parcel of land, okay? Which is subject to a right to repurchase. Kung si A sold a land, this is a parcel of land, subject to a right to repurchase, and as agreed upon, one year ang period for the repurchase, on the sixth month pa lang, si B, to whom the land was already delivered, sold the same land to C. Okay? However, on the ninth month, A offered to repurchase the land. Who has a better right over the land? Okay? The worst answer dyan ay CB. Okay? Kasi, nirepurchase Ire-repurchase na nga niya, binenta pa niya, aba siya pa rin ang may karapatan, parang uh, mukhang mali na yan. To that question, obviously the answer would only either A or C, who has a better right over the land. Uh, ang, ang isang possible question dito would go into the validity of the sale. Okay? Uh, the sale of the land between B and C, is that a valid sale? There appears to be no problem because may consent naman, mayroon namang uh, object, may price naman. So apparently all the three essential requisites are present. The fact, however, is that the ownership over the thing, to be more precise, the ownership over the thing of B is subject to a resolutory condition, which is the right to repurchase. Pag properly exercised ang right to repurchase ni A, the ownership of B will be terminated. Would that not affect the validity of the sale? The answer still is no. Okay? In fact, the law on sales does not require the seller to be the owner of the thing. And by express provision of law, things subject to a resolutory condition may be the subject of a valid sale. Okay? So, walang problema that this may be a valid sale. Still, the question is, Who between A and C would have a better right? Ordinarily, because A properly exercised, or on the premise that he properly exercised the right to repurchase, A will have a better right. Whoever was the owner at that time, kung si C na ang owner because it was also delivered to C and valid ang sale, C's ownership will be terminated in favor of A. Okay? The only qualification to that where C may have a better right if he can prove that he is a seller in good faith and for value, okay? And he purchased it from an apparent owner. In other words, it is possible that this sale is not registered. Or he, uh, there was nothing in the sale, there was nothing mentioned in the deed that A has the right to repurchase, okay? So, uh, if that is the case, then C may be able to validly claim that he is a purchaser in good faith and for value, and therefore he acquired ownership to the prejudice of A. Okay? If at all may uh, cause of action siya, that would be against the buyer a retro. Okay? Then, uh, just uh, a few more. Okay? Um, In relation to rights, okay, sale of a right again is perfected by mere consent. Pareho lang kaysa things. The question here would pertain to when would a sale of a right bind third persons? Okay, the law requires that sale to be in a public instrument to bind third persons, but moreover. If that right pertains to an immovable property, for that sale to bind third persons, that sale must likewise be registered, okay? In order to bind third persons. Now, finally, as to the price, okay? May a contract of sale be valid if the price is in a currency which is not Philippine currency? Nagkasundo ang parties that The car would be paid with the price being one million yen, one million Japanese yen. May that be a valid sale? The answer is yes. The answer may be based on the definition. Sa definition, nakalagay lang price certain in money, and money can be any money. 
hindi lang Philippine money, pwedeng Japanese money, etc., etc. Okay? The question only with this is, if in that sale, the parties agreed that the price be in a currency, not Philippine currency, although valid ang sale, can the seller compel the buyer to pay in that currency? If your answer will be based on 529, the answer would be no. Because 529 prohibits the payment of debts in money in any other currency aside from Philippine currency. But that law is no longer uh, in effect today. 529 had been repealed by Republic Act 8183, which now allows contracting parties to stipulate as to which currency the amount is to be paid. So kung nagkasundo sila that it has to be paid in Japanese money, fine. The seller can compel the buyer to pay in Japanese money. Okay? Now, uh, sale of uh, a car. Okay? And the parties agreed that uh, the price of the car will be equivalent to the value of uh, 100,000 shares ng San Miguel shares. Will that be a valid sale? Again, the price in that sale involving a car, a determinate car, would be equivalent to the value of 100,000 shares ng San Miguel shares. Would that be a valid sale? I dare to say no. Because a re requirement of the law as far as the price is concerned is the price must be certain. Okay? And if it is only based on 100,000 shares ng San Miguel shares, that is not certain because there was no agreement in relation to the time, to the period. Okay? Because the shares of San Miguel would differ depende sa araw, depende sa buwan. In fact, minsan depende sa oras. The opening uh, value may differ from the closing sa closing time. But what if nagkasundo na sila na uh, the value of 100,000 shares ng San Miguel sa closing time on a specific date, January 2, 2010? Would that now be a valid sale? I dare to say hindi pa rin because there are different kinds of shares ang San Miguel shares. If they were not able to agree on the specific shares, kung common shares or redeemable shares, there may not have been a meeting of the minds as to the price. And therefore, the price not being certain, the sale is void. Okay? Uh, if the parties agreed that one of the parties will be the one to fix the price, May the sale be valid? The answer is yes. If that party who uh, has the right to fix did fix the price and the price fixed was accepted by the other party, it is at that moment when the price fix was accepted that the contract was perfected. It was not at that time they agreed. It was not at that time that party uh, uh, decided to fix at a certain price, but it is at that time the fixed price was accepted by the other party. Okay. Now, on the other hand, if uh, the parties agreed that a third person will be the one to fix the price, may the sale be void? The answer is yes, the sale may be void. Uh, again, when the question only is may, it only means possibly ba. Uh, if you can think of only one, even only one scenario na possibly, your answer should be yes. Walang sagot na it depends sa mga question na may. Okay? Either yes or no lang ang sagot. Okay? The answer is yes, the sale may be void if the third person is unwilling or does not want to fix the price, cannot fix the price. Unwilling because sabi niya, pakialam ko sa inyo. Diba? Uh, a common problem of this third person, if he fixes the price at this amount, isa sa dalawa magagalit. Sasabihin ng isa masyado mababa. Sasabihin ng isa masyado mataas. So, he may not want to fix the price. Or, he cannot fix the price kasi comatose. Obviously, until uh, until nag-agree ang parties or naka-recover siya sa pagiging comatose, there can be no valid contract. Okay? But, if the third person only acted in bad faith, would that affect the validity? No. 
the contract would still be a valid contract because the remedy of the aggrieved party would be to go to court for the court to fix the price. The third person acted in bad faith. Well, it can happen in two ways. He may have fixed the price at an amount which is uh, very, very high, excessive, which is obviously in favor of the seller. Or he may have fixed the price which is grossly inadequate, which is in favor of the buyer. Okay, At any rate, the remedy of the agreed party is to go to court for the court to fix the price. We have already discussed the effect of lesion in contracts that is still applicable as a sale. Okay? Uh, that gross inadequacy of the price as a rule does not affect the validity of the contract, but under certain circumstances, the law may provide for uh, uh, the contract, for example, being considered recessible because of lesion. Okay? And specifically, we have discussed this already under 1381 or the contract may be defective not per se because of the lesson, but because lesson would actually be the reflection of vitiation of consent. Okay? Kaya gross inadequate, grossly inadequate kasi mayroong employment ng violence, mayroong intimidation. Okay? Or maybe the contract may even be void because again, hindi talaga sale ang tunay nilang kontrata. Baka ang tunay nilang kontrata is, or transaction is a donation. And therefore, the sale, the deed of sale, is merely a simulated contract. Actually, this is void. But they will be bound to the real contract which they really intended. Okay? So, I think uh, maybe we can end the day with that uh, para makapagpahinga and hopefully tomorrow... We'll be here already at uh, 8.30 in the morning. Um, I would always uh, uh, tell the reviewers, okay? And uh, tingnan nyo kung tama ako, okay? Uh, ano ito? Fearless forecast ko ito palagi. That those who would already be in this building, okay? Uh, I, I made the... Uh, uh, an error in saying in this room, marami pa palang mga nasa satellite rooms. In this, actually, meron pa pala sa ibang building, ano? <laughs> so, mali rin yung in this building. In this, uh, in this, uh, school, okay? At 8.30 in the morning, would have a much greater chance of passing the bar exam, or if you want, a much greater chance of topping the bar exam, okay? Tingnan nyo, and I will tell you the reason tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. Okay? Okay? Thank you very much. Hope to see you tomorrow. Okay?